you know, marriage is deep. That D E E P is so deep. When they, when they are telling you to wait, you think they don't know what they are saying. They knew. Because what you, that you are in love, you cannot see it. You cannot comprehend it. You cannot figure it out. The haters, they can see so when they are telling you to wait, just wait. If you don't want to wait, 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 wait. Because when it comes to wait, 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 that's going to take a long time. So it's better for you to just wait. So that you don't wait, 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 wait. If you don't want it to take a longer time, just come on, wait. You think, oh, your life is not complete without marriage. You are deceiving yourself. If you think your life is not complete now, when you get there, it's not going to complete. I'm serious. You think, oh, when you get married, that is when your vision will continue. That is when this will happen. You just want to see you, you know, with your picture, with your husband with your keys, with your... Stop deceiving yourself. You think all the pictures that is flying around all the social media, you think that uniform signifies unity. No! Some of us, some of you, you have even tried or you have already plays a course on your own because you will see a picture on social media you will see the beautiful wife cute hugs man and your children the, the next thing you are going to be praying for oh lord please let my marriage be like this says who i don't see structures they are different so that's how your marriage is different you can't compare it to somebody else's marriage it is incomparable Every home, God has an assignment for us to carry out. Your assignment in your marriage is different from mine. By the time you see a picture on social media, you are praying that, Lord, let my marriage be like this. And something, you started experiencing something in your marriage. You are not be saying it's the devil, it's the devil. Not everything is the devil. Sometimes it's kind of prayer that you have prayed. You need to go and reverse it. You need to cancel them with the blood of Jesus. We can have mental, but pray that Lord should allow your marriage to be what you want it to be. Not comparing your marriage to others. Because they are telling you it's deep. It's deep. It's this. It's that. You are not listening. Because if you have some people to choose, Married life or single life. Some of, some of them will tell you they prefer to go back to the single life. We have a lot of books on marriages, conferences, programs here and there. But this thing is still failing. I don't know if it's reducing. Why? Maybe number one, maybe they are not listening. Or number two, they don't wait enough. Everything about our life is going to be tested in marriage. You yourself, you don't know the person you are getting married to. You just know little about the person. Because after five years, ten years, you don't know maybe the person is still going to change. You know, let me give you a practical example. When you have a car in somebody's or Let's say I bring a Range Rover to your house. Or I'm not the one that bring, let's just say a Range Rover. Or you can maybe to your child see here now. And that car is very clean. 
they did detailing for that car shiny you open inside oh my goodness everything was extremely clean you open the bonnet it felt clean and guess what even the mileage on the car is very low but you don't really know much about cars but you're looking at it from visible eyes you can tell but if you call a mechanic, a very good mechanic, to help you to check inside, it will be able to tell you maybe the engine is having problem or the brake pad or the accelerator or there is a light or brake light, there is a light you need to fix. If you have a sticker, you will be able to know maybe oh, this car is due for oil change. Because all the details, you don't know about it. Because you don't know much about the car. But the mechanic does. So when you want to marry, you can only tell about the vehicle. Some can tell you a little bit about spiritual, maybe what God has told them. But the person that will help you, the person that knows it all, is God. In fact, you have to go God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, to enter into it with you. Because He knows the beginning from the end. He's the only one that can help you through. You think you know the person, you don't know them. Even if there's something happened in your marriage and you try to report the person to maybe friends. And you continue reporting, report, they are going to name you that. And you'll be wondering that they would name you that oh, your complaint is too much. That is where you have faced the reality and say, oh, so you people don't even know your friend at all. But someone that can listen to you all the time. Even the time that what you are saying is, re is it reasonable or unreasonable. He listen. I know praying to God who lives. It is only God that listens. I know that we are praying to God that listen. So just take the history of that marriage to him. You say cancer, but sometimes cancer don't really help. There's some cancer you seek, they will help you to put more fire. They will cancel you in the wrong way. So we have to use our senses to know that the one that can listen to you all the time is the God of the Hebrews. Because the foundation of that marriage, he knows it all. When they ask you to wait, just come down and wait. If you think love is blind, that marriage is going to open your eyes. So don't let that love blind your eyes. Wait if you don't want to wait to wait to wait. Even if they are telling that they know the guy very well, they know the ladies very well, they are Christian. Well, it's not a Christian. Or well, what is the definition of somebody is a Christian? There are still some people they will call themselves a Christian. But their behavior is terrible. It's horrible. And you are going, you are going to be wondering, ah, what's going on here? So it's God that can reveal the heart of human being to you. When God back you up to go ahead, He will see you through the storm, through the challenges. See cancer. You are the one that will know the cancer that is good for you, the one that is not good for you. The one you want to apply, the one you don't want to apply. Don't rush into something that you are going to regret it forever. I won't like that one for you. 
is deep. Your own eyes cannot see it. You need the eyes of God to see it, spiritual eyes. And it's the one that can open your eyes to see what is beyond ordinary. So that marriage is beautiful and it's also deep. Don't mess up your life because you want to be in hurry, just want to marry, just want to marry. And do what? You think marriage is all about just sex? No. What is behind five is more than six. Because after five, you're going to see six, after five, you're going to see six, seven, eight, nine, ten, more than that. Don't think where you marry, your 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 problem is going to be solved. No. Marriage is full of responsibility. Everything about your life is going to be tested. You think you don't have money now? Maybe when you marry, you are going to have money. To God be the glory. Probably if your husband have money, he will be giving you. But there's nothing like your source of income is from you yourself you work for it there's dignity in labor you can't keep you know depending on someone to be giving you money all the time the lord said that the lord said it's going to be the bible says it's going to the word of the lord say that god is going to bless the work of our hands and the open doors unto us so uncle you know, wait. If you don't want to wait, wait, wait. Don't be in a hurry. I love you. Bye.